Well, we're at the Wiltshire Wildlife Trust uh, with Derek Gard and it's Friday the 2nd of November. Hi Derek and uh, thank you so much for agreeing to do this for us today. It's a really useful thing for us. So um, really just to start off with, could you, would you like to introduce yourself and your organisation? Yes, I'm Derek Gard. I'm the volunteer coordinator for Wiltshire Wildlife Trust. My responsibilities are for all the volunteers, uh, but also look at things like job creation, and I also look after a big fundraising event which relies on volunteers called the Sarsen Trail and Neolithic Marathon. Uh, Wiltshire Wildlife Trust is the biggest uh, environmental organisation in Wiltshire. We're part of a national organisation called the Royal Society of Wildlife Trust, which is the biggest volunteer organisation for the environment um, in the UK. Um, in Wiltshire we have around about 18,000 members, um, 1,500 volunteers, and look after 40 wildlife reserves. Um, we also get involved in environmental projects like waste management, like food production, like wellbeing projects with mental health uh, patients and things like that. Wow, it's an enormous, enormous job you have. It's great. <laughs> Part of a big team. It's fantastic. <laughs> Good, thank you. And um, could you um, give me some examples of the different events that uh, you've come to grow for? I know you've been to some of our events and you've also contacted us for different reasons. Yes. Um, what sort of events have you been to? Well, the latest events uh, that I've been to, are, which are extremely valuable, the cluster events, which happen around the county. Uh, we've been to Salisbury now and Melksham, and we're just about to go to Devizes and Pusey. They're fantastic for us because it's about networking. Um, we've come back from all three of those events with leads in respect to work that we can do for other people, uh, leads in respect of volunteers, uh, but also uh, funding opportunities and training opportunities. Well, that's brilliant, and I'm so pleased that this is working so well. Um, from our point of view, it's, it's a good way of working. It makes really effective use of all our resources. So that's, that's brilliant. Have you been to any other yes, Agro I, events? I mean, we go to the um, volunteer manager, um, is it forum, I suppose you call it? Uh, network, network, yeah. Thank you, yes, the volunteer manager network, um, which we find extremely useful. Um, it's useful, again, for networking, but also for support, because especially in some of our smaller organisations, they feel they're out on that limb and they're on their own, and that's not the case at all, and we help each other. And that's yeah. been very important, bringing us all together, to just discuss common problems that we have, common challenges, yeah. and also to celebrate what goes on in the county in respect to volunteering, which is very good. Excellent, thank you. And uh, I know you've been on some of the training that's yes. been provided. Um, the one that's been most used to me is Volunteers of the Law. Mm. Um, very concerned about that in that we've been looking at our volunteer policies and strategies in the last 12 months and completely rewritten them and the training that we received in respect to volunteers and law has helped us understand how to put those documents together and not fall into a minefield with regards to employment law and volunteers and uh, I sing the mantra no you can't call it a contract very often <laughs> but that's all down to grow yeah. because without them I, could, I would have not had that information. Oh, that's, that's excellent, thank you. Um, have you come to grow for any other services? Um, we use the Volunteer Centre, which yeah. I suspect probably provides us with something like 30% of our volunteers every year. Uh -huh. um, last year we recruited, we had opportunities for 584 volunteers and we found places for 350. Without that steady flow of volunteers coming through, we couldn't possibly do the work we do, especially in our environmental areas, out on our wildlife reserves across the county. Um, and we really value the, the Volunteer Centre for, for doing that work for us. Okay, that's great. And uh, have you contacted ECBL, Equal Chances, Better Lives? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm attended, is it a forum they do? or a they, they, they have a, a network. Network, yes. yes. I've attended their network and we've recently uh, attended their Equalities um, seminar, training seminar, which is extremely good. Um, again, it's my responsibility to look at our equalities policy and bring it up to date. And only this afternoon I've pinged an email to uh, Chippenham to ask them if you've got a template we can use for equalities policy. 
and I know I'll get an answer back, either giving me one or telling me where to find it. And that's always the case. If I'm not sure of anything, yeah. we always sing the mantra in the volunteer department here, email go, yeah. and we always get something back. Well, that's excellent. Um, I know the answer will be yes to that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you've actually used GROW for, for a wide variety yes. of support for the organisation. Could you tell me what difference it would make to your organisation if, if we weren't there, if we didn't have the funding to provide this service? The difference would be I would have to spend a lot more time doing research and approaching other organisations that we don't have a, a local relationship with. The good thing from my point of view is that GROW is about Wiltshire wide and so are we and we fit quite well together because of that. Um, my role is strategic within this organisation, it's to grow the volunteer base and experience and the fact that I've got someone I can come to and ask questions about and not waste time mm -hmm. looking for answers makes all the difference. Okay, so, so we save you time and money. And money. <laughs> Thank you very much, Derek. Um, I really appreciate uh, your time today. Thanks a lot. That's fine. No problem. Okay.